Welcome, my name is Isra, and today I'm going to share with you some of the things that helped me with um, overcoming certain anxiety disorders or some of the tools that I have in order to manage um, the anxiety I still have. But it's not as severe as it was before. So to give you some background information, I went through panic attacks for about a year. I've been through um, general anxiety disorder post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, where to the point where I couldn't even leave the house. I've had phobias, fears of being in small places, of being around people, and I have had a lot of trial and error, different tools that I've tried out in order to manage the symptoms. And this can look different for everyone. And so observing your body and observing yourself and seeing what works for you and what doesn't. Number one, getting out of your mind and into your body. And you can do this by moving. Getting into your body through yoga, dance, high intensity workouts. It could be slow movements like Tai Chi or Qigong. Um, it could be stretching. And it, it really doesn't have to be anything too intense if your body's telling you that it needs something more soothing. As someone who has been through pretty uh, bad adrenal fatigue. It's very important to be gentle, to build up that sort of stamina or ability to withstand higher intensity workouts, but you don't even have to go there. Number two, meditation. Maybe you've already heard this 10,000 times. When you truly get into the groove and understanding of what meditation is, then you'll realize it's very different from what you might have believed it to be. Meditation is the connection to yourself, making time for yourself, connecting to your breath in order to soothe your nervous system. I'll always go, go back to the nervous system because when we are anxious, the fight or flight or freeze response is triggered within the nervous system. And we're not able to properly think. And because of that, our vision is clouded and so to come back to your center through the breath is a way to move this anxiety or to lessen the anxiety and if you begin your day with some movement if you begin your day with some meditation you are making space for you to be present for your emotions to be present and anxiety can come through for many different reasons. Trauma, it could be the fear of feeling of certain emotions, and so looking at the root cause. But sometimes we need immediate tools to help us in the moment, while alongside working on the root cause, the trauma or the fear of feeling, and allowing yourself to feel is a process of relearning and unlearning. That's been a hard process for me because of the depth that I feel. Number three is making space for yourself to feel. And sometimes you'll need someone there to support you in that process. And I highly recommend that. Number four, I begin my day with positive thoughts, with gratitude. I didn't understand gratitude before and now it's an essential part of my life to be present in gratitude and to surrender to whatever may come through. At times this can be hard, especially when I'm outside. This brings me to number five. I have flower essences, the, the rescue remedy. I will link it down below. It has been a lifesaver, especially in the moment when I just need something to get me out of that um, trauma response, get me out of that fear response. So highly recommend that. It's been years that I've been using it. So those are five of the things that I do. Movement, uh, meditation, finding the root cause of where the anxiety is coming from, making space for myself, and rescue remedy. There are other tools, but for now I will share this and I will be making a part two. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below and I look forward to seeing you soon.